channel. Uh, today we're up at Washwater. We're uh, walking up to <laughs> some hills uh, to go up to Red Pike, I'm pretty sure it's called. Uh, it's going to be a, a bit of an overcast day, but we're hoping we can still capture something later on in the evening. But we're going to jump straight into the photography today. So we're walking up, we've only come maybe 500 meters or so. Uh, and we started following this river, we only just met the river. There's a lot of waterfalls further down. But we've got these few little ones here. Uh, so I've got my tripod, you might be able to see it just down there, nice and low to the ground, capturing this small waterfall and the series behind and this large oak tree. Uh, I'm using a long exposure. Uh, there's a, one of my friends called Ben, he's been on the channel before. He's not a really big fan of long exposure waterfalls, so I'm doing this one specifically for him using about only a one second shutter because we've got so much water and a circular polarized filter to get rid of some of the glare and an ND filter to reduce the the, the levels of uh, how bright it is really reduce that shut increase that shutter speed to what we need yeah I'll um, bring the camera down take the picture that I'm looking for and show you how it looks. Hopefully we'll have a good rest of the day. Good start, I think. So it looks like Jay's found his own composition in these cascades and waterfalls. Let's head over and see what he's found. Seeing you take capture this image for quite some time. How's it looking? What, what's the composition, firstly? Uh, the compositions of looking up this river, the main subject is uh, this ready, creamy rock in the middle. Excellent. Are you doing any sort of long exposure to for the waterfall or just keeping it nice and sharp? Yeah, I'm using my ND filter to get three seconds. Three seconds, very nice, very nice. The, back, uh, the rocks are nice and crisp. Excellent. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. 